Asus P8H67 is a 10-year-old motherboard. However, it is still going strong and is widely used since in the past decade Intel failed to release any processor worth of upgrade, with the single exception of perhaps 12th gen, since for example 10th gen was a complete disaster. So unless there is some kind of physical electrical damage, for example popped up caps, the boards are still working and people are still using them. And the users even try to update the BIOS of those boards for security updates and new features. However, sometimes when you try to update the BIOS on those boards, the computer reboots not to the BIOS but to the ASUS Easy Flash utility and shows an error, reading failed. This utility is actually a safeguard for those cases when the BIOS update fails, so you will not need to solder a hardware flasher to flash the BIOS. There are three main reasons for this error to appear. The first one, you are trying to flash an incorrect BIOS. By incorrect, I mean the BIOS from a different board. There are at least three different revisions of the same board. The first one is P8H67, the second one is P8H67V, and the third one is P8H67M. So you have to make sure that you are trying to flash correct BIOS. The second reason is you are trying to flash BIOS from the hard drive or SSD drive inside the computer. Even though it is possible, it is highly recommended to go the proper way, that is to use a USB thumb drive formatted to FAT32 file system. And the last reason, which was this particular case, is not adhering to the instructions. In this particular case, the owner of this computer tried to update BIOS version 14.01 to BIOS version 38.01. However, if you go to the official ASUS website where you can find BIOS for this board, somewhere in the middle there is a show more description option. And if you click on that, you can learn that you have to update BIOS twice when going from BIOS version 14 something to BIOS version 30 something. So basically you have to apply the same update two times for it to work. In this particular case, the USB thumb drive was not available, the PC itself was not booting, and there was no other computer to make the thumb drive. So in this particular case, a OTG USB adapter was used to connect the thumb drive to an Android smartphone to make the thumb drive. The problem is, most apps that allow you to format thumb drives on Android require root to change the file system of the thumb drive. And the only app that does not require root access is ESO to USB. However, to make a thumb drive, you need two things. First one, you need an ESO file. And the second one, since this is a free software, you have to watch a few ads to actually be able to press the start button. Anyway, the smallest ESO you can find online is probably the Microsoft DOS bootable ESO. So download that Select that as an ESO file, make sure that the file system is set to FAT32 and create the thumb drive on your Android. After the thumb drive has been successfully created, just unzip and copy the BIOS file to this thumb drive using standard Android file manager. After you have procured the FAT32 USB drive with the correct BIOS, just plug it in into your motherboard. It is highly recommended to use older USB 2.0 USB port as opposed to a more modern USB 3.0 port. Anyway, plug the thumb drive, select the firmware from this Easy Flash utility, wait for it to complete the update, reboot your PC, go to the BIOS which is now available, save the default settings or set the BIOS and then save the settings, and after that the computer should boot with the updated BIOS just fine. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.